using our mind is very much like using computer. If you have more models, more bills and all that make it more difficult. Different software, different system, updating, and virus comes in and out. So you have to keep working on it. And there's no end for the progress, including the AI. It may help, but we have to keep on top of it. The mind is very much like that. Let's forget the body and the heart. That's another discussion I have had in the other videos, which is very important. That's the point to look into. But just looking at the mind, how we function in the mind, there's a conflict. As much as in the computer software, we have different softwares about the relationship, the finance, the health, work, hobby, things like that. And I call it the me and mini-me, the different department within myself. Each has its own mission, maybe KPI, key performance <laughs> indicators, plan of action, what to do. And it is moving on, different ideas popping up, more information comes in and synthesize, store it, but some of the storage goes bad after a while and may not reflect on the reality of what's happening. So as much as in computer situation that Dealing with the mind and updating the mind by itself, it's not going to be easy. So I'll give you one example. This morning I had a crash of a software, I believe. I couldn't figure out easily. It's about uploading uh, the video. didn't work out. So I just tried that. And I simulated that instance kind of like a facing death about to face this and die. You have limited time. What do you do? If you can figure out a way out of this difficulty, you may live longer because certain neuron connection, if you connect them, that may keep the heart pumping and the lung moving, all the other stuff. But if we don't know how to do the plumbing work, <laughs> it's not going to possible. My vision of my death is that all the nerve system is clicking, 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 hormone, everything is moving on to make me alive. But eventually things start to break down here and there. You make the most of what's left to live, but the last critical bottleneck may be broken and then you die. You become unconscious and then you cannot live. So Living being, you want to live longer, but you also know living being, it's impermanent. No system would last forever. To realize that is awakening. But when I faced this computer issue that I had struggled, I had uneasiness in my body, feeling that, oh, this is like dying. And... Uh, if I cannot do it, I solve the problem, I have to waste, spend hours perhaps. And that doesn't have any guarantee that I can solve. I solved it. And the way I did was maintain calm and quiet mind as if facing death, not thinking too much about the issue, but resolving yourself, myself, this happens, similar to dying. Let's see how I do it. Eventually, I came up in this instance that I could solve it. Wow. I saved three, four hours, perhaps, because I was to reboot and this, that, this, that. I didn't have to. So that's the reality of the computer and how I spend my time to do something good for myself, for others. But we have to make a judgment if it's impossible. Let it be done. But when you accept everything, often, not always, it's possible that idea pops up. Man, the extremity is God's opportunity. I said it in various videos. And that's like a Zen core facing 
a situation you cannot solve and still find a way. So I've been trained for that, but then I get this disturbance. So I go back and forth, simulating the computer in the mind and mind how to deal with it, accept it. What's the lessons learned? This is the way we live using our mind, using the computer, how the society changes, how we can cope with it and make the most of it. But things can fail. And you thought about eventually sometime the whole internet may fail for some odd reason. But figure out what can be done given the situation, because eventually we're going to die, and have that sense result and still have peace in our mind. Wouldn't be a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. I had one near-death experience type of a situation I posted on the internet, and in that situation, I accepted, and I thought I may not come back, Before that, I had no issue. But having gone through this computer situation, I got a little jolted sense. So I have to revisit. Revisiting here is not trying to solve this problem in the mind or in the computer program. S situation as it is, accept it. Go deeper. The root cause of it. Root cause is the power of universe that you cannot control. It's beyond the mind power. And if you can relate to that power of the universe, I call it the laws of universe, you may use the word God, infinite intelligence, compassion, wisdom. If you have that connection with that, then mind is there but limited, but you can go beyond. So that's the spiritual pursuit. I went through Zen, Shin Buddhism, and checked various scriptures and so forth. It's interesting to go beyond the mind. I suggest, if you're interested, let's look at the situation, what's going on in our life. Uh, how we go over the difficulties, sometimes successful, sometimes not successful. But at the end, we live the best and pass away. Let's be happy to know that that may help us to live our life in a more uh, result way. Next time I have a computer problem, how I respond to it? And not the computer, my situation bring out unknowns that uh, I may not be able to handle. And that's what it is. So let's be aware of it and make the best of it and look into the possibility of resolving by going beyond the mind power. And that's when we may find a creative idea to live our life better, well, and be happy. Thank you.